Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how you can download the MT4 and how you can set up your FXCM scanners. First of all, you have to go to metatrader4.com. I will be using that instead of going to fxcm.com. Okay, and then go to trading platforms, select MetaTrader 4. You will have to go to the bottom where it will say download MetaTrader 4 and open an account for free. And when you finish downloading it, if you're using Google Chrome, you will see at the bottom where it says it's already finished downloading. Okay? After you've done that, we will need to download one more um, tool that will help us set up everything completely. This is what we call our harmonic scanner. And this is the link at the top, http colon slash slash all the numbers. This should be correct because um, it will not be downloaded if it's not correct. So after you have that completely on the URL, press enter and it will download again. So let's open up our MetaTrader 4. Double click the file and then click on run. It will open up this wizard right here. Okay, just hit next and wait for that to open. Okay, don't worry if it looks like it does not do anything because it's technically loading and um, it will give you another pop-up window. Okay, yeah, you will get this and after that it will go now, it will open to this MetaTrader 4 window. So before we can go ahead and set up everything, we have to look for our server. Your server should be Forex USD Demo 01, but to do that, um, you have to search for Forex, hit scan, it will show you all the list of available servers on the MetaTrader 4. So again, look for FXEM USD Demo 01. When you find it, you click on it and hit Next. Okay. And then go to New Demo Account, assuming that all of us don't have an existing demo account yet. Fill all the information needed, and when it's done, it's completed, it will go through this box will it give you, uh, will, where it will give you your username and password for the MetaTrader 4. Okay, after this you just need to click on finish and if you want to take note of it, that's fine. You can um, write it down on a piece of paper but uh, here going back, hit finish and it will open up this screen. You will get four boxes for um, little boxes right here for now, we don't need them all opened, so let's close this one, another one, and another one. So we'll leave one more, just one, and maximize it. Okay, right now we need the harmonic scanner into this MT4. Remember the file that we downloaded earlier? We have to get a copy of that and put it on the... I know um, some of you may have heard this, like we need to copy and paste it. So we'll, we'll go to Downloads folder or just quickly go to Google Chrome, find the downloads and uh, you can see the XUP file right there. When you find it, you have to right click it and go to Copy. Okay. After you copy the file, go back to the scanner and go to File, go to Open Data Folder. You'll see a lot of options right here. Um, you just need to go to MQL4. Okay. If you don't find it, um, just just look for where where your computer saves files, like when you download something. But most of the time, it will go directly. Files go directly to downloads folder. Some change the path where they wanna put that. But yeah, this is it. And um, make sure to copy it properly because uh, we, we need to paste that on your harmonic scanner. So we're back here on this window and in the screen we have to go to the MQL4. Okay, When you see this you have to double click it and proceed to Experts tab.
okay here paste it right click and paste and then close the window you'll be back on the MT4 just go to the expert advisors it's not there yet just refresh and there it is double click it it'll open another little box there are three tabs just go to inputs when you go to inputs tab you just need to fill this is the the place where you have to put your login for username and password the one that you're using with IML don't forget to put that on username and password and um, our from our CEO Christopher Terrace video before some of you may have watched it but uh, for the use um, he recommended on that video to turn off the both of these two false and to make sure that we set the send email to yes or true and then hit OK when you hit OK you will automatically get this pop-up right here it says fatal error don't worry about it it's normal you will be getting that and just click OK um, before we do something to get rid of the pop-up just adjust this to 5000 on both of them and go to expert advisors this is the place where we can get rid of that pop-up message so put a check mark on the tool at the bottom and add this address don't forget and the forward slash hit you hit OK after you hit OK it will come back on this screen as you can see the patterns are now showing up that means that you have configured all the settings correctly including your username and password with iMarkets Live some of you may not have all of these patterns showing up on the screen but you don't have to worry because all you have to do is right click the one on the left side where it says market watch you right click that and you go to show all and then you can close this box or I mean this MT4 to refresh it otherwise you can just leave it open and wait for the patterns to update because you will see if it shows lesser before it will be showing more right now just like what I have right here if you want to switch in between patterns just double click on each of the patterns available on the chart and this pattern right here will will change to something else and after this I will be sharing just a quick um, video or just a quick walkthrough on how you can set up configure your email alerts correctly so you can receive email alerts if there are patterns new patterns available all you have to do is go to the tools tab at the top if you want to configure that um, let me show you okay so for us to do that see all the patterns are showing up right now okay we have to go to the tools tab one more time and go to options and go directly to email don't forget to put a check mark on enable the SMTP server is um, it depends on which email address you will be using because you can easily google which recommended server your email account has and uh, for the SMTP that's your email address the password would be your password email password the from and to should be the same as your SMTP address your email address after this hit OK and come back here to do the test or you can do the test on this window okay thank you